<laughs> Speaking of dark existential horrors, please welcome to the stage, Jim Potion. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Why don't you guys speak? Whisper into the microphone. Hello, everybody. How are you? Jim's here to do about 20, 25 minutes of ASMR for you. <laughs> no, Jim is here to do a, a brand new segment for Joko Cruise this year. We call this segment, Tune That Thing! <laughs> If it has not been made abundantly clear to this point, Jim Boja has a certain history of being known for uh, being very good at and persnickety about the proper tuning of stringed instruments. We have a guitar backstage that Jim has not seen since the beginning of the show. It has been professionally detuned by Jonathan Colton himself. Please bring forth the acoustic guitar of doom. We are going to set the stopwatch. Jim will get one introductory strum to find his center. And then when you are ready, we'll start the timer and you must tune to that thing. One. Do you remember my time last show? It was two minutes and 16 ten. seconds or something like that? Two minutes and 10. Oh, 225. Okay, sure, it was 225. Sure. Give yourself a little more room. So, one introductory strum. <laughs> I'm done. Are you ready, Jim Boja? I am ready. Jim Boja, tune that thing! <laughs> Start at the lower strings first. <laughs> Interesting strategy. I saw I saw Kasparov do this in '76. '76, but he didn't have same of the quick lean as the. Oh yes, this is of course known as the Boja question mark yes. dance. He's famous for it. <laughs> yeah, he says, "Is it in tune?" That is the question. Uh, the, the leaning over brings him closer to the notes. Yes. We decided not to ask any follow-up questions. No, he answered immediately. Jim is about to pass one minute and two minutes. Uh, do you think he's halfway there? It's difficult to tell. It's very difficult. It's one of those things where it seems like a mess and then all of a sudden it gels together. But it is said, among those who know such things, that it can be even harder to tune a ukulele. Mm. It is. He said he says so. Bring forth the detuned ukulele, please. Oh, oh my. Alright. In, in, in the first one, he said he could tell just by holding the, the ukulele. It's not as bad this time? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, once more, the rules. One introductory strum. Let me start the, the clock. Here's the old My Dog Has Fleas. Oh, hang on, that was me, that was me. Hang on. That's 
He plugged into the wrong DI. That is a not an auspicious start <laughs> for Jim. Can he recover is the question. He's got a lot of time to make up. Here comes our My Dog Has Fleas. Okay, all right. This one, I, I think he might do it. I think, I, I think it's going to go very fast. Last time it was like a minute and change. Minute change, wait, a minute six, I think. Okay. Think you can beat the minute six? All right, Jim Boja. About the same. About the same. Okay, Jim Boja. Two, that, thing. Overtones may be reflecting yes. off of the silver lines. <laughs> because, after all, music isn't just one, a, a note isn't just one single note, it's, no, a, it's, series not, it's a series of overtones. Especially the overtones that we are speaking while he is trying to do this. <laughs> this is not Uh, Jim Boja, would you be so kind as to close out this evening with a song before he does so? Thank you all again so much for coming out. A huge, huge thank you to my inimitable co-host, the super awesome uh, shadow president of Joko Cruz, Gene Gray. <laughs> He's given her a lot of weird fetish fuel for later Thanks tonight. For <laughs> Don't come in here. I'll see myself back. Uh, thank you to all of our performers. And once again, uh, here's Jim Bozo. Uh, this is the first thing I ever worked out on ukulele many years ago. Like, Kendra.